my first response is, it, that can't be. It's, that's not possible. When Newtown School Superintendent Dr. Janet Robinson first heard the news about the school shooting, she, like many others, was in shock. Uh, then when the reality hits that this is, that this horrible, unthinkable thing happened in such a beautiful little primary school, it, it's, it's overwhelming. The relationship between Newtown schools and law enforcement helped not only on that tragic December day, but in the months following the shooting. Um, the fact that we had done so many things together, the chief of police, the, the captain of the police department, um, we knew them, we knew them personally, uh, we could talk to them informally, and not just that day, but for the last six months, that's been a very valuable relationship. And for that very reason, Dr. Robinson and Lieutenant Richard Robinson traveled to Mount Pleasant to share their message. There are some lessons that can be learned in what law enforcement does and how we do them. And, but in, in, in general, it's preparation, making sure that you have everything set beforehand so that when an incident occurs, you go right to that playbook. And that's, that's what we really want to share with everybody. School safety consultant Ken Trump is scheduled to speak on Thursday and advises schools to practice drills at all times of the school day. So often we're going, to, we're going to be stressing taking a look at not only doing drills but diversifying your drills. Don't do it when it's convenient for the adults at 9, 10 in the morning, but to do it at lunchtime where it's confusion and chaos. Preparing for a school emergency is critical, but making children comfortable in their classroom is something officials are keeping in mind. We still want children to be children. We don't want to make, have them feel that they must be in fortresses. We want them to enjoy their childhood. In Isabella County, Brendan Kinney, 7 and 4 News.